Welcome to How to Rock Spirit's Sun Moon Alchemy series. This audio was compiled and recorded by Dustin Cormier, a Leo Ascendant Scorpio with Sagittarius Moon, born in the year of the Metal Ram. All the possible Western Sun and Moon sign combinations can be found and learned about here. This information is for educational purposes only. I do not own any of the following content. For more astrology lectures and my own Cosmic Consciousness audio lecture series, check out How to Rock Spirit's YouTube channel, where I rap about everything from philosophy and transpersonal psychology, to psychedelic spirituality, to tantric and occult mysticism, and even to Marx and Engels and the materialist sciences. See you there! Sun in an air sign. Basically motivated by intellectual concepts and social ideals. Recharges energy through social involvement and intellectual stimulation. Sun in Libra. Creative energy directed toward interpersonal relationships and initiating ideas. Needs to be recognized for impartiality, fairness, kindness, and ability to harmonize opposing energies. Radiates sociable, graceful, intellectual vitality and a refined sensitivity to beauty. Constant urge to create balance in one's relationships and lifestyle. Sense of individuality can be obliterated through overconcentration on pleasing others. The moon sign and its element. These notes are also still from Stephen Arroyo's chart interpretation handbook. The element of the moon's sign represents an attunement from the past that manifests automatically, a mode of feeling and being that one needs to be aware of in order to feel inwardly secure and at home with oneself. This element and experiences related to it feed your need to feel right about yourself. This element and experiences related to it feed your need to feel right about yourself. By such modes of self-expression, you are satisfying a deep inner need that can give stability to your entire personality. The moon's element also shows how you react instinctively to all experiences, with what energy you spontaneously adjust yourself to the flow of life. Moon in air signs. Reacts to changing experiences with forethought and objective evaluation. Feels comfortable with self when expressing ideas and interacting socially. Moon in Gemini. Reacts quickly, perceptively, changeably, with unending curiosity. Feels secure in responding to a variety of mental stimuli and in being involved in more than one activity at a time. Adapts to change by using the mind and making connections. Communicates about inner emotional life. A need to verbalize emotions in order to feel connected with them. Sense of security can be deterred by emotional energy scattered in many directions. The following information comes from Isabel Hickey's Astrology, a Cosmic Science, copyright 1992 by Isabel M. Hickey Trust. Moon in Gemini. Versatile, shrewd, and critical. Dual forces and subconscious. Superficial. Because it is the twelfth house sign of Cancer, which is moon ruled, the Gemini moon can be its own worst enemy. Needs to be honest. Restless in search for truth. Needs to look beneath the surface. Longing for knowledge. Spread themselves too thin and scatter their forces. Unless Saturn or Scorpio is strong, can waste tremendous energy in chattering. Jittery nervous system. Torn apart by changing feelings which reflect in nervous tension. Too strong a tie with relatives. Not a free agent if they cling too long to family pattern. And a male chart attracts a nervous and high-strung mate. Sun, Moon, Alchemy, the elemental combinations of the Sun sign and the Moon sign. The following information comes from Charles and Susie Harvey's Sun sign, Moon sign. Copyright Charles and Susie Harvey, 1994, again in 2003. First published by Aquarian, 1994. Each Sun, Moon type is a combination of elements. In the following descriptions of the element combinations, please remember that the pairing can be either way around. For example, a fire-earth combination refers equally to sun-fire-moon-earth as it does to sun-earth-moon-fire. There will be subtle differences, but the dynamic is generally the same. The four pure types, with both sun and moon in the same element, most vividly express the element involved. Such an emphasis on one element 
also represents an imbalance, so such types are liable to swing into their complementary or opposite element. Air-air combinations. Intelligent, gracious ladies and thoughtful gentlemen, double air types are the most reasonable, civilized, clear-headed of combinations. They are probably the most cultured and elegant as well, never at a loss for a word or comment, always ready for discussion and reasoned argument and debate. Being told this will not go to their head, for they are not normally prone to self-importance. That would be far too illogical for their poised and intelligent approach to life. The double air type assumes independence as his birthright. To be able to move and connect with ideas and people is the stuff of life for them. Witty, cerebral, urbane, and polite, the double air type is a natural communicator and thinker who prefers to soar in the ideal realm where they can build social, political, or philosophical schemes that help improve humankind's lot. A thinker par excellence, the double air type finds security in taking the broad, intelligent viewpoint and stepping back in order to see the patterns and principles at work in the whirlwind of life's activities. They are an observer and theorizer of life, and their faith in the power of ideas is well exhibited by the British economist John Maynard Keynes, the sun in Gemini, the moon in Gemini, who said, The ideas of economists and political philosophers, both when they are right and when they are wrong, are more powerful than is commonly understood. Indeed, the world is ruled by little else. This detached, observant mode is useful, but it often earns this type the accusation of being cold and unfeeling. Although others may experience double air in this way, the strongly airy individual insists, often at considerable length, that he is only doing what comes naturally, questioning, examining, and remaining open, fair-minded, friendly, and harmonious, and above all, communicating with whoever will listen and discuss. Shadow Side The double air type labors under the illusion that there is such a thing as complete objectivity and perfect impartiality. He is utterly honorable and, alas, childlike in his attempt to understand, analyze, and name everything. Childlike in that his feeling for life, because it is such a conundrum to him, tends to remain immature, undeveloped, and very often unconscious. The whole range of human feelings, hurt, anger, jealousy, dependence, fear, love, hate, tend to be avoided, repressed, or played down with great agility. The only possible exception is cheerfulness, which air is particularly good at. The rejection of the feeling dimension makes this type curiously sensitive and vulnerable to the waywardness of human behavior. The strongly airy individual can therefore be a real challenge in a relationship. It is not easy being the only one admitting to all those unpleasant and uncontrollable feelings while your airy mate looks on with a cool, nonchalant, and maddeningly debonair gaze. The double airy individual weaves clever arguments so you have to be subtle and careful when you try to bring his feelings to his attention. Relationships the double air person is an adventurer and a traveler, if not geographically, then intellectually in some way. They will usually meet a wide variety of people throughout their lives and be attracted to adventuresome souls. Communication is paramount for this type, and they need mental report and mutual respect in a relationship for it to be satisfying and long-lasting. Air is compatible with earth, and they make a good team, for they both approach life logically and practically. Fire and air stimulate each other in the realm of ideas and possibilities, but this relationship could lack stability and burn itself out. Air is fascinated by the watery individual, whose predominant feeling mode will help the airy person to get in touch with his mysterious emotions and to develop his imagination. Airy thinking and watery feeling are opposites, and yet because of that very fact, they are intensely drawn to one another. Male versus Female Traditionally, we expect to see the objective, witty, thinking characteristics of the double air type in men whose intellects make them leaders of thought and action. Women of this type are just as independent, inquisitive, and extroverted, and rebel when others try to peg them into more traditional female roles. Adaptability, ingenuity, and handling people with cunning insight and skill are double air virtues, and the female of this type can employ these qualities in both the home and the marketplace. 
Both sexes are often drawn towards learning and communication, as well as professional activities that allow for maximum freedom of movement and travel. The following observations about your Sun-Moon combination are drawn from insights gained from astrologer Jefferson Anderson's book, Sun Sign Moon Sign, an observation of many different individuals. The writing itself comes from Mantak Chia and William U. Wei's Cosmic Astrology, copyright 2012 by North Star Trust, published by Destiny Books. Sun in Libra, Moon in Gemini. Academician. Expressiveness is one of your best talents. Because people feel your basic sincerity, they react positively to your refined and easygoing manner, so you are able to convince others of almost anything. Most people like your frankness and know your intentions are always best, even though you frequently alienate some with your keen wit. You have to struggle against tediousness and lack of interest. When joined with a Gemini moon, the social consciousness and mental strengths of Libra are finely tuned. Restlessness and inquisitiveness push you to discover the world, to seek answers and hidden truths. You are a real intellectual who stands apart and is objective, and it is hard for you to comprehend those who are satisfied with outside impressions or those who choose to settle for the shallow parts of life. You have a love for thrills and diversity and are passionate and excitable. Half of you is spent getting yourself into trouble, while the other half is attempting to get out of it. You can easily slide into the trap thinking that the world provides no comfort or promise, because you are inclined to see life from a removed perspective. You may seek out transcendental experiences through spirituality and the occult arts, rather than placing your faith in the here and now. No matter how much you attempt to conform and adjust to the world you reside in, you will never stop sensing that you actually belong in another time and place. Your fundamental buoyancy and positive reception of life's biting wit should see you through, no matter how gloomy or estranged you feel. You have superb diplomatic abilities in addition to purely rational or artistic abilities. You will always hurry to arbitrate any problem in your environs if strain or conflict disrupts things. Law, government, or social service are places this skill in mediation can be applied. You are a pagan and a radical at heart. Disillusionment with the world can bring about an assortment of harmful answers. You are an excellent actor and you may choose to play roles that fit the moment or you could depart completely. Just being yourself is a challenge. Try to recognize your being and your individuality. Only to only by discovering from others can you start to believe who you really are, so be socially engaged. Your sense of humor is one thing you have going for you, and you are able to express amusement with yourself in the human predicament. Notes from Charles and Susie Harvey's Sun Sign Moon Sign Sun in Libra, Moon in Gemini Your greatest strengths Clarity of your mind Impartiality Willingness to consider opposite viewpoints lively and articulate self-expression, charm and genuine friendliness that puts people at ease, your greatest weaknesses, your tendency to skim the surface and therefore never fully develop your talents, to try to cover too much ground and spread yourself too thin, to remain emotionally immature and to be lazy and just rely on your luck. Images for integration, Birds circle in perfect formation on the breeze of a bright autumn day. Having delivered a fair judgment, the chairman of a conciliation and arbitration board chats amiably with the previously opposing factions.